Good morning and welcome to the MyPERS is Going Mobile webcast. I am Captain Dan Wright, Content Management Branch Chief at the Air Force Personnel Center. I am here with Ms. Lisa Timmerman from the MyPERS admin team, Mr. Eric Gallimore, the MyPERS user experience designer, and Technical Sergeant Nacrista Williams, MyPERS knowledge manager. Today we will be discussing the reason for adding the responsive design to MyPERS, benefits of mobile, what mobile MyPERS can and can't do, login tips and tricks, followed by a live Q&A. First, why go mobile? We recognize the diverse mission sets across the Air Force with many of those not allowing personnel routine access to desktop computers. Adding a responsive design to MyPERS was critical to allowing users secure access to authorized information anywhere, anytime, and from any device. We also recognize the growth of mobile and wanted to enable a better customer experience for the largest segment of devices. So what are the benefits of mobile? Besides being able to log in from your personal device anywhere, anytime, you can now more easily check the status of incidents you have submitted to the Total Force Service Center. We are also continuing to add capability to MyPERS, so in addition to searching for knowledge articles, you will be able to complete transactions like request a report no later than date extension or sign an active duty service commitment on the military side. So what can MyPERS do? Everything you could previously do on the desktop version except now you can do it from your phone to include quickly viewing alerts and utilizing tools such as the aviation bonus calculator. But there are still things you can't do. If we have not yet developed the functionality on MyPERS, you will still need to do those on external systems. Part of the A1 digital transformation is to bring these processes onto a common operating platforms in order to sunset these legacy systems, but there's still a lot of work to do on this transformation. I will now turn it over to Mr. Eric Gallimore to, to, get, to discuss some of the login tips and tricks for using mobile MyPERS. Good morning, everybody. We've created a mobile login guide for Apple iOS devices and Android devices. And we have a few tips to get you started and set up on MyPERS mobile. Before taking advantage of MyPERS on your mobile device, you'll want to make sure that you have a personal email address registered with your MyPERS account, since you most likely will not have access to your af.mil email address. Also, when using your username and password, your second factor of authentication will be a PIN sent to your email address. You can register up to three email addresses to your MyPERS account. If this is the first time you're accessing MyPERS from your mobile device, enter mypers.af.mil in your address bar. The first time that you navigate to MyPERS, you may see a connection warning screen. Don't worry, your data is secure when on MyPERS. This connection warning can be bypassed. 
after you bypass this warning screen, you will not see it again. When you reach the login screen, enter your user ID and password and select login. You will then be asked to send a pin for your authentication to an, an email address. Please select your personal email address and not your af.mil email address. When you receive your six di digit pin, return to MyPERS, enter the pin and select submit. You will now arrive at the MyPERS home screen. On the home screen, you can do things like update your profile. To get to your profile screen, you can select your initial badge on the right side of the screen, or it is available in the menu on the left side of the screen. On the My Profile Settings page, you can register up to three email addresses to your account. You can change your password by opening the menu and select change password. If you need to recover your user ID or password, you can accomplish this by selecting the forgot your username or password link on the login screen. To recover your username, enter a registered email address and select email my username. Your username will be sent to your email. To reset your password, select the forgot your, pass forgot your username or password link then you will verify your MyPERS user ID. A link will then be sent to your personal email address that will allow you to reset your password. Retrieve the email that has the support account password assistance subject line and select the reset my password link. This selection will navigate to the reset password screen. Enter your new password, verify it, then select submit. You can also do things to conveniently log in or navigate to MyPERS. If you're using an iOS device, you may be prompted to save your password when you first log in. The next time you navigate to MyPERS, you will see a gray button when you select in the user ID field that will automatically fill in your user ID and password. If you do not receive the prompt to automatically save your password, you can also manually save it in your settings screen. You can also save the MyPERS site as a favorite and bookmark link.
we also have a user login, mobile login guide for Android devices. With an Android device, you can save the MyPers site as a shortcut on your home screen. When running MyPers from your home screen, it will launch the site in full screen mode. Thank you. This concludes our demonstration. So now we want to open it up to the live Q&A. So if you start typing in, we will read your question aloud and then respond. Yes, thank you so much, Captain Wright. Captain Wright, we have a question. Will this guide be linked through the AF Connect AP? So yes, we will um, look into that. It's not currently right now. It's on PA's website. Um, so if you go to the favorites, uh, AFPC's PA um, page in the Air Force Connect app, then yes, you'd be able to get to these pages. We have another question. Where can you get the guide for Android devices? Uh, so it's in two places. It's on AFPC's PA website, which we can put the link out there for that. Uh, and then it's also uh, linked within MyPERS. Now, of course, if you're trying to log into MyPERS, uh, it's hard to get to. So that's why it's on PA site. And we've pasted the links to the guides in the chat. Now we're trying to take some questions also from Facebook Live. So let's see what we have. So someone's asking, what is the name of the app? And so it's not an actual app. So it's not an app. It's actually a responsive web design. All you have to do is use your browser and go to your mypers.af.mil uh, URL and the site will